What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about constructors in Java. And constructors are super simple to understand simply because all constructors are, are functions or methods with a few different behaviors and a few extra added rules on top of them. And the whole entire reason that we use constructors is to put data into our objects when they are first created. And I think a good analogy of why we want to put data into our objects beforehand would be almost like an Excel spreadsheet. If you are going to make an Excel spreadsheet, there's obviously cases when be, even before you put any extra data or you manipulate any data, you want to have some data in there beforehand. Otherwise you can't do other things, or maybe you can't do another calculation. And I think a really good example of what objects are, they're almost like Excel spreadsheets in themselves. They're just rows of data. And whenever you new up or whenever you actually create a object, obviously you always need your new keyword. We talked about that before. If you don't know what any of this is, I uh, suggest going back and watching my class in objects video, video, but there is a point when you create an object and whenever you want to put data in it or whenever you create an object and you need something to happen, this is the constructor. This is all a constructor is right here. You don't really um, need any type of fancy knowledge in order to identify a constructor. This is a constructor right here. So how is it different? And what are these specific rules of constructors that I speak of? So number one, it has to be the exact same name. And this goes for case sensitivity as well, too. If you have, a, if it's a bicycle, it's got to be a capital B and it's got to look exactly the same. Also, it cannot have a return type. Constructors do not have return type. So if you put a return type in there, it just turns into a regular function and it's no longer a constructor. And it's only called once. Okay, so now we're in IntelliJ. Let's go ahead in here and let's just create a really simple class and observe some of the behaviors of constructors and look at real use cases when you're actually going to see constructors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I'm gonna go animal. And what I'm gonna do in here is I'm just going to create two simple little variables, not a big deal. And then I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to create another simple variable, Pokemon number, Pokemon name, just so that we can see the differences between these two types and we can just kind of play around with it. Then I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go public and I'm gonna go animal. Remember, same name, same case sensitivity, it has to be the exact same thing. And what I'm going to do is I am going to make it so that I can pass in a number. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the this keyword. And if you don't know what the this keyword is, don't worry about it because I'm going to make a video on it. But essentially what the this keyword does, really, <laughs> if you want to know like the real, like the hack or the truth is this keyword stands for this right here. So if this is confusing you, just remember that. And the reason that we do this, or the reason that you see this a lot is because whenever you create objects, a lot of times what you're going to do is you're going to come in here. And so we've got an animal class and I'm just going to call this uh, lowercase animal and go in here. A lot of times what happens is that you need to pass in your own data. You see, you could go in here and hard code data in here. There would be nothing wrong with going, there actually is nothing wrong. And this is like something that occurs all the time. So this will be Squirtle. So you could hard code data in here, but the beauty of a constructor is that when you create it, you can initialize your own data. So if you wanted to assign, let's see here, Pokemon int, Pokemon number. So if you just wanted to assign the data in here, here, let me see here. Oh yeah, I need a new, <laughs> silly me. If you just wanted to put the two into there just like that, it's going to pass it in so that when you create your actual object, that data will be in there. So if I go here and I'm going to go program started and let's just go ahead into the debugger and let's actually look at it and see 
what it looks like. So program ended. And then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna press this red button right here. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna smash the bug and let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside of it. I think that that's always good. So we're gonna go in here and if you look at it, it doesn't really look Excel spreadsheet like, but if you just imagine that this is the row, this is the column right here, you can see it's all, it really is almost like an Excel spreadsheet and you populated it with your own particular number with with your own particular number right here. And then also we have our hard-coded data right here. So as you can see that that's the power of it. Also, one last thing, let's go ahead and we would not, this constructor video would not be complete without having a console log within our constructor. So we're gonna go constructor fired. So if you go in here and you say constructor fired, just like that you will see that it's going to execute right here in the middle. So if we run it, we go bug, and we're going to just run it right here. And also key point, we have the debugger and we have the console right here too. So if you want to see where the console log actually fires, you gotta go over to your console right here. So we're gonna go down and we've got our animal. And if you look right there, when the object was actually newed up and it was created, our, our constructor fired. And that is pretty much all you need to know about constructors at this point. Next video, we're gonna talk about this and we're gonna talk about constructor chaining, another exciting topic. Anyway, I hope that you guys like this. Smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.